Hey lovelies, happy 2013. This is going to be my top 12 of 2012 tag video. And so yes, I got this tag off of Sweet Beauty X, which is Emily. And so yeah, I'm gonna get started. There's six categories and two products from each category. And the first one is face products, and I have two, obviously, because I have two from each. And my first one is my Bobbi Brown Moisture Rich Foundation with SPF 15 in the color Porcelain. And this I've had for a long time and I started using it in like the ninth grade. And it's just a, it's not really thick and like heavy and so it, you don't feel like you're wearing foundation. But it has really, 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 really good coverage. And I am like obsessed with it. I rediscovered it this year and it has been literally... One of the only things I've put on my face all year. I am in love with it. And um, the only downside to it is it is rather expensive because it is all around cosmetics. So yeah, there's that. My second face favorite is a concealer. And um, I picked this up in April when I was in Spain. And it is the Flormar Concealer in Ivory. So it just looks like that. It's in this really pretty white and gold tube. And I haven't been using it as much lately because I have my new e.l.f. concealers. But I really like this one. I usually it covers everything I needed and it goes perfect with my foundation. And so these two have just been my face go-tos all year and I'm in love with them. So there's that. Um the next category is cheek products and both of mine are from Elf and both of them you have seen before. Um the first one is my Elf bronzer in Sunkissed, which I've actually hit pan on, so that's just that. And um it's only a dollar, but it works just as well as some of the higher quality ones. I mean, it's my go-to everyday bronzer, and I am in love with it. I have like three of them in my makeup box for me to use. So yes, this is definitely a good bronzer to go for. And it's only a dollar. And then this is my next one. It is the e.l.f. blushes in Pink Passion. And it looks really, really, really bright in the pan. But let me tell you, it is... Probably it starts out so light and it's probably one of the most buildable blushes I have ever owned. And ever since I bought this a few months ago, I've been using it almost every day. It is literally the best blush in my collection and I have a lot of blushes. And it's only $3. So my entire cheek look that I do almost every day, $4. I mean, it can't get any better than that. So the next category is eye products, and my first one is an e.l.f. product, of course, Stunner. And it is the Waterproof Eyeliner Pen, and I have three of them right here. I actually own like eight of them in all different colors. And these ones are the Black, Teal, and Hunter Green. But they just go on really nice, and you can make them as thick or as thin as you want. So like, I mean, that's fairly thin. Oh, this one's, this is a dead one, so it's not going to show up very well, but there's that. But I could also like make it really, really thick. And it's just really easy to control. Which is what I love about them. Yeah, this one's dead. But in the colors on the colored ones are so pretty. And like they just are so bright. That's the teal. Um and the hunter green. So pretty. I don't know, it's like dead. I never use this one either. Sad. So yeah, they're really pretty and I love them. And I'm usually not very good with waterproof eyeliner, but these make me good at waterproof eyeliner. And my next eye product is a palette that I've only had since mm, beginning of November, but I've used every day since and everyone can probably guess what that is if you've seen any of my other videos since my birthday. The Naked Palette, and I just think it's the perfect palette. I mean, it has everything you can need to do any eye look, and I just, I'm obsessed with it. I use it with any outfit, if I'm going to be dressing more fancy or just really casual, I can find a look in this palette, which is something I really, really love and value in an eyeshadow palette. So, there's that. Next category is lips, and I have some products that... Also, if you see my videos, are probably obvious. The first one is Baby Lips Chapsticks. Really nice. And what I discovered is when you first start using them, you really, you're, since you're not used to how they are, you think they're just really watery. And, like, 
you don't like them at all. Like when I first bought, um, I bought Quenched first because I smelled a plain one. And it was really, I thought it was really watery and I was like, Ugh, I don't know. But I kept giving it a chance and after you use it a few times, you get really used to it and your lips start to feel really good. And so even if you've tried it at first and you think it's watery and gross and you don't like it, try it again because you will fall in love with it. It is amazing. So this is Quenched and Cherry Me, right? Yeah. And Coral Crush. And Coral Crush is a limited edition one. You can only get at Walgreens. And I love it. Okay. My last lip product. Also picked up when I was in Spain in April. And that is the Flormar Pretty Cream and Glaze Lipsticks in P324. And it's my red. My bright red lipstick that I love so much. I have been obsessed with red lips all year. And this is my favorite red lipstick that I own. And I own a lot. So yes, the Flormar Pretty Cream and Glaze Lipstick. It is amazing. Now on to nails. Um, my first nail product is not a polish. It is a um, tool, kind of, I guess. It is the e.l.f. Nourishing Cuticle Pen with Avocado and Almond Oils, Vitamin Fortified EAC, and Pro Vitamin B5. And it's just this little pen, which, oh, I'm wearing nail polish right now. I can't show you. That you just kind of wipe across your nails and your cuticles. It makes them really strong and feel really good, and I am obsessed with it. I just ordered a new one. And I think it just makes your nails so, so strong. And my nails get really brittle and stuff when they grow out. And so this has really been helpful to me, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it's a dollar. Again, e.l.f. products. So, so good. And then my last, is it, my last nail product is a nail polish, and this one is really a good fall color and kind of into winter, too. And that is the... Um, OPI, the one that got away, which is from the Katy Perry collection. And it's just this really, really shimmery, deep magenta color. And I am obsessed with it. Um, it's got lots of like micro glitter in it. It just makes your nails shimmer, and I love it. And the last category is hair. And I have two products, one like actual accessory and then one actual product. So I'm going to start with the accessory. And it is these hair pins that I believe we're in my December favorites, maybe. But anyway, I use them a lot when I do my top knots. And they're just these little flowers. I think they're really cute. And you wouldn't think you'd be able to wear flowers so much when you're 18 years old. Usually, you know, when you're like 7 or 8, flowers every day is fine. When you're 18, people are like, that's weird. But these are just so gorgeous that no one even cares that I have, like, flowers in my hair almost every day. So, yeah, I love these. Um, and then my last product in my top 12 is a shampoo conditioner line, but I only have one of the shampoos because I just showered, obviously. And so my shampoo and conditioner that I'm actually using right now are wet, so I'd pick out the shampoo that I haven't used yet. And that is the John Freda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightning Shampoo and Conditioner line. And I have been obsessed with this. Um, I originally used just the, for light, the one for light blondes. And, um, that one worked, works really well too. But then I was like, you know what? If I'm going longer in between when I dye my hair, I might as well get the one that lightens your hair. And so I picked this up, and I fell in love with it. This is, like, probably my fourth bottle. <laughs> no, it's probably not that much. It's probably only my third. And this is my third bottle of the shampoo. And I just started using the conditioner, like, last month. And I am in love with it. It is the best shampoo I've ever used in my hair. My hair is really thick and curly, as you can tell, as it's starting to dry. And so... It's really hard to find conditioners that work really well with my hair. And so I was really worried about switching over to the conditioner with this line because I was like, I need a really strong conditioner. And it's amazing. It works just as well as my ones that are meant for my hair. And so I highly, highly, highly recommend this. If you are a blonde, if you're not a blonde, don't use this. Come on, common sense, people. If you are a blonde, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. So yeah, those are my top 12 of 2012, and I cannot wait for 2013 to get, you know, really rolling. I mean, we're only two days into the year, and I am so excited to see what this year brings. I'll be graduating and going off to college, and it's just incredible. So I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's, and I can't wait to share my wonderful 2013 with all of you guys. Love you guys. Bye.